Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Ballerini Floor Special. You can pick yourself up one of these in Round Rock, Texas. If you take a look... For free. This is not for sale. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, this, is a, uh, this is a special cigar that we're doing. It's the decade to celebrate our 10 years anniversary for the company. I'm trying to get a light on here. Get it in focus. This uh, wrapper is very, very toothy. There's a lot of little bumps and ridges on there as it burns. Those are little oil pockets that are going to create some nice white ash. It's a Brazilian wrapper. Um, I don't know too much about the specifics on this. If I had to guess, I would almost guess it's like a Brazilian seeded Cameroon wrapper just because of the shade and the teeth. That's a huge characteristic of Cameroon wrapper, Cameroon tobacco. Um, but it is Brazilian. I think it might have Brazilian filler in it as well. Um, but we'll get into the taste profile here soon. Let's do a cold draw. Very semi-sweet chocolate. A little earthiness, but really heavy in that kind of chocolate sweetness on the cold draw. Almost like... Um, a poplet or a, like a, a chocolate pop tart, a little bit. All right, chocolate pop tart. <laughs> wow, yeah, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> so, I'm uh, interested to see how this thing burns. Obviously, I've never had one before, so we'll go on this journey together. Oh. Cheers. All righty, got this bad boy lit. Um, let's see. If might not be enough lighting here. You can kind of see in the ash on the black. We improvise the light. Little white dots that I was talking about. Might be hard to see, but they're already starting to form. And those are oil, little oil pockets that will add to flavor. And uh, it's very desirable having a toothy wrapper. The total blind review. So we'll see what we get. No influence of any kind of, any kind of sort. Little peppery, spicy, earthy. Um, almost like a, a sugary plum. Wow. Kind of plummy. Wow. But it's like a dark fruit, like jammy dark fruit. It's like semi sweet. Not getting that chocolate that I was getting on the cold draw mm -hmm. just yet. Um, with the retro, it's kind of peppery, spicy. Mixed with that jammy, kind of dark, fruity, sweet flavor, semi-sweet. Very interesting. I don't think I've gotten that flavor before. Um, it's quite complex. Uh, I'll have to see how it develops as I go through if I'm picking up some more things. Um, On the scale of mild to bold. Um, good point. So body, um, I think we're at like a 7 out of 10. And as far as the construction of the cigar, it's actually quite dense there's not much give right here at the very end near the torpedo there's a slight slight give but everywhere it's pretty packed pretty dense throughout so i expect it to have pretty even burning and uh yeah we'll see i'm excited for this one it should be very interesting um and i guess it's a triple lajero so strength is probably going to be at an 8 out of 10 as well if not higher yes. so we'll check back in with you on that one as we progress i might be uh not feeling my toes so. <laughs> See. all right we've made it through the first third here we do have a little bit of an uneven burn starting center that um, not a big deal i'm not going to correct it i'm just going to let it kind of work itself out you can probably tell that ash is a little bit flaky, um, but I'm doing my best to keep it on the stick and not tap it off. Other than that, the flavor's been on point. The draw's been on point. I did kind of prod it a little bit with a needle just to open up the flow. It was a little tight, um, but since then, it's been perfect. Um, and the flavor's been transforming a little bit. The sweetness has gone away. Um, I'll do another puff here just to refresh my palate.
getting like a smoked meat subtle flavor like salty smoked meat on the retro through my nasal passages it's very it's not really even peppery anymore but it's it's smoky and it's not like tobacco smoke it's like a wood chips that are smoking and kind of marinating with something salty um the sweetness has kind of gone away i'm not tasting much of that plum anymore um if anything if there's sweetness it might be like a touch of cinnamon um the second third's kind of not fully transformed but it's evolving it's changing um which is beautiful so uh, i'm excited to see where the second third takes me and then uh i'll check back in with you All right, flavor, everything has been great up until the second, third. I would be remiss to not mention, I do have a little bit of a crack here. Slight unraveling. I'm not really offended by it, it is what it is. It's smoking perfectly fine still. I just need to be a little bit gentle, a little bit more gentle right there so I don't crack it. Um, flavor's been really good. Um, similar to the last time I checked in with you, it's still kind of that savory, like salty meat, chewy smoke, full bodied strength is there feeling it um not much has changed it's just kind of uh going along the track developing but uh i'll see how it goes i have a feeling in the third the final third here it's going to ramp up a little bit in the strength and kind of close off with some really bold flavor uh, so i'll check back with you and let you know and give it the final score All right, everybody, here we are at the final end of here. I'm gonna give you the final score, my final thoughts. Um, it's ended pretty similar to the second, third. It's very strong. It's ramped up towards the end here, like a 10 out of 10 on strength. Flavor-wise, still has, you kind of finished a little spicy, actually. Um, spicy sweet, like a Calabrian pepper, like semi-sweet, fruity forward, but spicy. Um, on the tip of your tongue and the exhale, it would coat your mouth in like a spice flavor. Uh, which is very pleasant. I like spicy. I don't think I got too much leather, but it is smooth. It's complex. It's well balanced. My my final thoughts on this: I'm going to give this cigar a 94. It was a really wow. good cigar, and uh, I'll try and find out a little bit more about it. Maybe we can leave some information down in the description, see if you can potentially find one near you, um, or not. I don't know. This is the Ballerini Floors Decade, so. Not sure you're gonna be able to get it. No but, uh, that being said, maybe it's a 99. It's 105. <laughs> I don't think you're ever gonna taste anything like this. <laughs> so it's our own. It's our own. Um, again, a little reminder: these are taken from our main podcast on the channel. If you want to check those out, we talk about various subjects. Um, fun, lighthearted, sometimes serious stuff going on in the news. But check out one that's interesting to you. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe and. Let us know anything you want us to talk about. See you in the next one.